Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, Monday through Thursday. Now, you know that I use my Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards main message. I will pull one from my, my Guardian Angel cards. I will then finish by pulling one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message, and it's usually best when I try not to understand it, so just let it come on out. Um, a couple of things. We do have the new moon in Libra. I think it's at 7.05 on the 6th in the morning. That's Eastern Standard Time. So new moons, remember, full moons to new moon, and when it's waning, when it's getting smaller and smaller, that's when we release the things that you know are holding us back and relinquish the things we don't want. The new moon is when we start to request. Okay, and then it goes from the new moon to the full moon, and during that time, we can put out more and more of our requests as it gets larger. Now, that's on the 6th. On the 7th, we have Scorp I'm sorry, Venus leaving Scorpio and going into Sagittarius. So we should have a little bit more of an adventurous energy with our relationships. However, um, we will have six planets. The majority of them are in the air signs, which is really Libra and Aquarius. I, I don't think we have anything in Gemini, per se. But we have six planets, so five, I think five of them are between, um, like I said, Aquarius and Libra. We know Mercury is retrograde into Libra. And then we now have that fire sign, the Sagittarius. Air signs and fire signs are considered the masculine energy. So they have a little bit more, they're, they're a little bit more direct. And we do have, I think, at Jupiter. I think, well, Jupiter, I think, is going direct maybe a little bit later. Well, no, I think Jupiter is direct. And I do think that Saturn is going direct, too. We have to go back to my notes from, you know, from Libra season. So we are going to have a little bit of a more confrontational energy as we go into, you know, after the 6th. So after the 6th, that 7th, just there can be a little bit more confrontation happening as we go into the weekend and as we continue um, down for the rest of October. Now, I am having many, 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 many people talking to me that, you know, they're, they're saying this energy is bizarre. You know, people that normally don't get angry are getting angry. People that are very stoic are crying. You know, this is very strong. But I told you this. I told you that Libra season was not going to be all, you know, it wasn't going to be the balance that we thought it would be. What's happening with Libra season is, um, and again, Libra season being air, Libra being air would be considered more masculine. Um, and remember, we all have that masculine, feminine sides of ourselves. But it's like taking those scales, and the scales have been stuck. And so Lib uh, Libra's just basically jumping on the one scale. I did do a, um, I did do a short blog on my um, on my website, and I also put on a calendar for October. Um, of different types of Reiki thoughts. So you may want to do a little Reiki during October because, like I said, it, it's going to be, I, it's still going to be a little more intense than what we would like it to be. Okay, what we're comfortable with. And again, too, there was something going on since August into, I think, the end of October, too, with the planets. And we are, en we're entering into some interesting times. So let's go on. Ah. Oh. Memories of love. So we have a six. Remember the numbers. This is my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. So remember, um, you know, the six is the number of man. It's the energies we put into something. This is looking back. So I, you know, kind of like this could be very nostalgic. There, And again, Mercury retrograde does bring those people back into our lives that, that may have left our lives. So it's a good time for that. It could also be looking back at life and just kind of saying, oh, where, where were those times? Where were those times? But let's see what we have here now. And see what other cards. I'm going to just do this for the general overview. Remember, anything reversed 
does have stronger energy. Oh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, but let's share. Let's share, 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 share. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, well, this is lovely too. So now we have another six. And this is all about victory and success. So whatever's happening, wherever we're going, remember, this is to bring us into a new and possibly better balance. So, you know, so memories of love, we're looking back, there's a lot of nostalgia. Victory and success is talking about tooting your own horn, getting out there and just, and I think this has to do with those masculine energies, just pushing forward and knowing that things are going to be okay. Things are going to work out. Still might be a little bit hard, but things will be working out. So we have the sixes right now. Now we have another six. Okay, so we have 666. Interesting stuff there. It is the number of man. Um, and this talks about moving on, going from the darkness into the light. Interesting energies with all of this. Now, remember, take the take your um, numbers, put them in the in your search for your browser, 666, angel numbers. Let's see what pops up with this one. Number of man. A lot of this is our own energies working for us. Moving on, going from dark to light. Let's see where we're going. Okay, and now I'm starting my readings. Hello, my Aries, and how are you? Well, let's see what this week is going to bring us, okay? I feel like some of your problems, like your problems that you're solving them quite in a big way. So let's see what the cards are going to say for you. That one is reverse, so strong stuff. Okay, here we go. Helps if I can see, right? Right. First card. Okay, interesting with that one, a 1, 3, 13, so one new beginning, 10's transition, 3, it has a lot of power to it, a lot of creativity. Add it together, becomes a four leadership organization. Also, um, also some stability too. But this is peace, peace. Be at peace. Let things go. What is you know? Only control what you can control. You know the serenity prayer. You know and the d wisdom to know the difference. But what if what you can't control, let it go and know that you can't control it. That's the thing that really this, this season has been about learning to let go of so much for many of the signs, but it seems like it's coming here to you, my Aries. Now, 13 in the traditional tarot is also the death card, so meaning something has to end in order for something to begin. Something has to be resolved, let go. Remember, we've got the new moon coming, so up to that point, we're letting go, letting go, letting go so that we can move forward. So this is going to be one of those weeks to let some things go, the things you can't hold on to anymore. And I do feel that this could be an old relationship, a long-term relationship that maybe you've just been hoping and hoping and hoping about. Okay, that person, you know, he, she, you know, if I do this differently, he, she will do this differently. And remember, relationships can be your work, your job, your career personal, intimate, interpersonal, romantic, family, or home. But sometimes you just have to let it go in order for you to find some happiness and find some stability too. So there could be something that's kind of making you nuts right now. And this is when you just have to say, I can't handle this anymore. And you get, like I said, keep going on and on. Let it go. Give it to your higher power to handle. It's not for you anymore. Okay, release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So something that's been just, just like, you know, and, and in so many times, my Aries, it's like, you know, there, what is it that you could have done? You couldn't, you know, there's, there's, a, there's something that pops up. And again, this is Mercury retrograde trying in Libra, this all Libra trying to clear this air out. You did what you could do with what you had to do. Now, if there's something that you need to make an apology for, then go ahead and do that. But the thing is, we all are accountable of, to our own actions. Okay, let's go on. The nine of Gabriel. So nines have an interesting energy in itself because that's like you've got all the pieces. Put them together. Do the work. Do what you need to do. 
um, you know, let's wrap it up. Let's get this done. Gabriel now is your fire energy, is our Sagittarius. It's our Aries, your energy. It is our Leo, passionate, burning, very, very determined. So while this is telling you to let go, let God take over, this is still telling you not to give up hope not to give up that something wonderful can happen. This is basically don't give up, keep your eyes forward. But again, it doesn't mean that you have to be the one to make things happen. There are times when miracles can, where, you know, I believe totally in miracles, totally in miracles. Say so, so many parts of my life, you know, you go back and say, well, it's just a miracle. So believe, believe in miracles. Don't give up, believe, okay? So you've got some very spiritual energy this week. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. Your next card reversed. Leap of faith. So again, it's like, I, you know, not in my hands anymore. You know, I'm not going to give up hope. Leap of faith comes in. What is this all about for you, my Aries? Please let me know because this is some big stuff. I mean, this is, this is, again, letting go in order for something new, for something. And when I say new, it doesn't mean it has to be, you know, just if you always do what you always did, you get what you got, right? And this is kind of like, no, you know what? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I got to, it, it's, you know, this is making me crazy. I still have to believe. I still have to have faith. I still have to believe things can be work out for the better. And then we get the leap of faith saying, you know, part of it is follow your dreams, but part of it is also believe, believe. Now, so you've got a very, like I said, you've got an extremely spiritual, almost metamorphous type of energy here, my um, Aries. Wow. Zero, God source, energy, higher power energy, universal energy. Archangel Metatron, like this is Azrael, this is Metatron. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. So there's there's something transitioning here. Is this a is this one of those romantic relationships? Is this a job relationship? What is this all about? But again, it all comes out to letting go, have faith, believe, go forward, and then again, what makes what what would make you happy? Again, I'm not I don't necessarily know what I can anchor this to of those because I can I feel like it's an it's all of the relationships it I mean it could be you know somebody just saying um you know like I I my story back in 2018 was I had to let go I had to let go of the job that I you know spent my career in so I had to let go in order to you know to move didn't know anything about it didn't know why you know, people would say to me, so what are you going to do when you retire? And I'd say, I'm going to read cards on YouTube. And then I'm like, really? So I'm, I'm saying it's kind of like that. Something has to end. This is going to be that week that, you know, you let go of something in order for this new chapter, new, new book to start. Let's see what we have here now with the guardian angels. Okay. Two of thought. It's about making a decision. So you've already been thinking about this. Now, two crossroads, pathways coming together. Thought, air energy. We've got a lot of Libra, Aquarius, and that's also Gemini. Thought processes, of course, making new plans, making some you know strategic thinking, also hearing, hearing news. So this is about your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. So, very interesting with this. Please, my Aries, let me know what this is all about. And which Aries, and who, who, who this is for, who this is for. So let's, because this seems very personal, and this feels very much like this is a message specifically. Uh, let me know. Let's see what crystal or energy for my Aries that would be helpful this week. This is reversed. Rhodochrosite. It's about service, contentment, healing, emotional wounds. It's also renewal of passion. 
So something might have end. Something might not be. You know, you might have the passion might be gone, but you still have. You still been holding on. Interesting stuff for my Aries. Let me know, please. I'm curious. I'm nosy. Okay, my Aries. Remember, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, notifications. You help keep my channel moving. You keep me on air. You really do. Most importantly, of course, please remember, please know, no matter what this old world throws at us, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.